This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. Today on the program, we are visiting with Mr. Mark Shinbane, the president and CEO of Harvest of the Sea, a pioneer and world leader in high-quality, innovative seafood products. And Mr. Shinbane, thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate being here. And you're more than welcome, and thanks for your time. So tell us, for starters, we hear that frozen seafood is hitting record sales in the U.S., which is real interesting as more households are continuing to buy frozen seafood that is conveniently ready to cook. Tell us about some of these record-breaking seafood consumption statistics to start things off today. What's been a wonderful trend that we've seen over the last couple, uh, actually last several years, has has been the per capita numbers are are growing steadily uh, year over year. And if we look back, uh, let's say going back to 2014 through today, we're seeing about a 10% growth just in per capita consumption. And when you combine that with uh, population growth, the intrinsic growth uh, is even exceeds uh, that uh, 1.9 pounds per person uh, increase that we're seeing. So it's very exciting to see that. What we're also seeing is uh, just a general growth in in seafood consumption due to the health benefits. We're seeing younger generations who have grown up on seafood more so than the older generations uh, embracing seafood as part of their daily diets. Uh, To give you a couple of numbers here, for example, uh, Technomics, uh, familiar with Technomics, they they are showing a 36 percent amount of uh, of the pop of Americans that are now eating uh, seafood as part of their weekly diets, which is a tremendous uh, improvement over where things have been, let's say, even 10, 15 years ago. Uh, the other thing that's happened is uh, COVID definitely had uh, its positive effect on seafood consumption. And it was, uh, for many of us, our our retail sales exploded. Our company sales uh, year over year probably jumped 15, 20% as more people were eating seafood at home. It certainly makes a lot of sense, and folks are really looking to eat more healthier as well. So there is another reason that's probably going on. Now, many consumers think that wild-caught seafood is better for consumption as well. Can you talk to us about a couple of myth busters, wild versus farm-raised, fresh versus frozen food? I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, I'll give you two different examples, uh, but they're similar in in a lot of ways. Let's talk shrimp. we deal a lot in farm-raised shrimp. That's a mainstay of what, what our company does. These shrimp are caught and delivered to the plant within about three hours and are processed and frozen within about another two hours after that. It's an extremely fast process. It's It keeps the quality of that seafood at its absolute highest possible level. What happens with fresh versus frozen, for example, on the shrimp side is when you go to a grocery store and with a couple of exceptions, which would be shrimp that are sold in the in the southern part of the United States where they are harvested in the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty much all shrimp has been frozen, and so it's now thawed out of the retailer. And one of the things that I'll always say to people is it's better for you to maintain that control of using that seafood when you're ready to use it. Uh, especially the way it's been processed and how uh, quickly it's been frozen versus letting something sit in a case and it could be there for you know several days before it's it's uh, used. I'll give you another quick example, which is a, a Mediterranean sea bass, Branzino, which is a fish we're selling. And again, the same thing. That fish is harvested, brought to the plant within about three hours again. And when it comes into the plant, uh, it essentially goes into two different areas. One would be where it is getting ready to be sold as fresh and it's put into styro boxes and sent uh, to wherever it's going to wind up in an airplane. And in our case, it goes, it's filleted and it's frozen within about three to four hours at that point. And then it's about as fresh as it can possibly be. It's then individually vacuum packed. So this product uh, is incredibly fresh and it's going to hold up very very well so the eating quality is virtually identical to fresh well you certainly can't beat that and another question for you where did the idea for seafood medley come from this was a concept that i had had where uh, many seafood medleys have been sold for a long time are usually just 
come from one part of the world. It's it's a it's typically a lower cost item uh, that people use. I thought there was an opportunity to do something that had never been done before, which was uh, put together the absolute best seafood that we could find on the planet, bring it together and and combine them together. So we we selected uh, the mussels, the scallops, the shrimp and the calamari uh, from the best sources we uh, obtain product from. Certainly interesting information you've already shared here today and sounds quite delicious about this time of day as well. Today we're speaking with Mr. Mark Shinbane, president and CEO of Harvest of the Sea, a pioneer and world leader in high quality, innovative seafood products. He's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's health news and nutrition channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, also preparing seafood might seem more difficult than cooking a chicken breast. What is the level of difficulty for cooking chicken versus your seafood medley of scallops, calamari, shrimp, and mussels? I would like people to think that seafood, and for whatever reason they think seafood's difficult to cook, seafood is just as easy to cook as uh, anything else for that matter. Let's use the seafood medley as an example. So you simply pour this into a saute pan and literally stirring it a couple of times within five minutes, it's ready to eat. I don't think something could be any simpler than that. Same thing with fish. Uh, many fish have very high oil contents. They're very resistant to overcooking. And it's very simple to, again, pan saute, put it into an oven, throw it on a barbecue. It's no different than cooking anything else for that matter. And and uh, I would really hope that uh, we're, we're reaching a point where people are beginning to see that that is something that they should not be afraid of doing. Mr. Shinbane, we certainly do appreciate what you do in the space and for joining us here today. I'm sure folks, if they came to the table, if you will, hungry, they are ready to go at it <laughs> about right now. Where can uh, consumers purchase Seafood Medley near them? The Seafood Medley is uh, is available at Costco locations in the western United States. Uh, currently, we're hoping to expand to the east in the next phase. Uh, it's available in uh, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, L.A., San Diego, and Northern Cal regions. Uh, it's uh, selling uh, quite well, and we really hope that people uh, give give this a, a chance. It's a, uh, a great item if you're on any uh, diet, uh, if it's a, for Mediterranean diet, uh, paleo. Uh, it's delicious uh, in soups. We can use it. It's, just a, it's such a versatile item that... Uh, uh, we think that once people try it, they're going to keep using it. Yeah, I certainly agree with you there. And if listeners wanted to get more information online, where could they best find further details? Well, if uh, some of the people listening today want to learn more about uh, the Seafood Medley product, they can visit our website at www.harvestc, that's H-A-R-V-E-S-T-S-E-A dot com. And there's a lot of information, a lot of great recipes uh, and ideas we have for Seafood Medley and some of our other products. So we hope that uh, they uh, uh, will uh, go visit us. Again, listeners, that is HarvestC.com. Mr. Shinbane, all the best. Thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Have a great day. Thanks, Eric. Again, we've been speaking with Mr. Mark Shinbane, the president and CEO of Harvest of the Sea a pioneer and world leader in high-quality, innovative seafood products. And for all the details, visit HarvestSea.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Yelth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealth Radio Network. Dot com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com 